Transitioning over from a DSLR to the Blackmagic, cinema cameras can be a little bit of a challenge, but it can eventually make your life a little bit easier in some ways. From ISO, white balance, and log settings that you typically have to deal with in your DSLR or mirrorless cameras, this camera actually allows you, to a point, to fix some of these errors in post, allowing you to focus more on getting a good shot rather than always having to constantly stay focused on the settings. This is not to say that you should ignore them completely, but this camera makes inevitable mistakes in white balance or exposure levels a little bit easier to manage. In this episode, we are going to discuss another useful feature that also helps you focus more on the framing of your shot. We're going to be talking about the shutter angle setting in the BMP CC 4K and how it works in 180 seconds. Before we get started, please subscribe to our channel below and hit the notification bell if you want to see more from Frame Voyager. Let's first talk about what shutter speed is in a camera. For those of you who do not know, a camera shutter is what allows light to come through in a camera for a certain amount of time. The shorter amount of time that your shutter is open, the less light comes through, and the longer you leave it open, obviously the more light comes through. In modern cameras, you will likely be presented with options that look like these. If you're experienced at filming, you know that adjusting these based on your frame rate is crucial. Say you are recording in a standard 24 frames per second. You typically would use the rule of 180 to determine the best shutter speed for the camera, which means a shutter speed of one over two times FPS. So in this case, you would shoot at a shutter speed of 1 48th of a second. This is generally viewed as the best way to formulate shutter speed in normal situations to essentially have your shutter speed be double your frame rate. This is called the rule of 180. This speed allows for the most natural looking movement on camera and is considered to be the closest we can get with digital cameras to how we actually perceive motion in real life. Now there are some circumstances in which you can break this rule, especially when talking about a cadence of a film where shooting at a faster shutter speed might lend itself to a jarring action sequence. And this is something we may explore in future episodes. So this brings us to the question of what is the difference between shutter speed and shutter angle that we see in the pocket cinema cameras? Shutter angle is essentially the same thing as shutter speed, but just think of it like the difference between the metric and imperial system of measurement. They are essentially the same thing, they just have a different way of presenting the information. What makes using shutter speed difficult is remembering to change it if you need to use other shots that are in different frame rates. So while you will be at 1 48th of a second at 24 frames per second, if you shoot something at 120 frames per second, you would need to set your camera shutter speed to 1 240th of a second. So it can be a challenge in run and gun shoots to keep up with shutter speed and remember to change it. Shutter angle allows you to not have to worry about changing the speed by automatically doing it for you when you change your frame rate. So let's dive into how shutter angle works inside a camera. Think of shutter angle like a disc that rotates around and around and allows light through. Now, though digital cameras for the most part have a curtain shutter and not a more film-like rotary shutter, Shutter angle is more of a way to express what it would typically do. Basically, setting your shutter angle to 180 means you're setting your camera to shoot at double the speed of your frame rate. The formula for understanding what shutter speed a shutter angle is set at is as follows. Shutter speed equals shutter angle divided by frame rate times 360. That means if you're shooting at 24 frames per second at a shutter angle of 180, you're exposing each frame to half the time period of each frame. And this is the formula for it. 180 divided by 24 times 360 equals 1 48th of a shutter speed. Now, to be fair, I've really given some simple answers as to what shutter angle actually is doing inside of a camera. If you want to find out more in-depth information about shutter angles and how they work, I've included some links below. To turn on shutter angle in the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera menu, go to the Setup tab. From here, you have the ability to switch between shutter angle and shutter speed. Feel like I've missed something or said something wrong? Please let me know in the comments below so I can correct it. Thanks for watching today's episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel below and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with all of our latest videos. Until next time, this is John Owens with Frame Voyager.